update about the songs in Encanto. Since we haven't had a Disney animated musical since Frozen 2 in 2019, these songs are highly anticipated. Firstly, the Twitter account Albanaki Disney posted some quotes from the creative team about the songs. In one tweet, they quoted Lin Manuel Miranda talking about Mirabel's I Want Song Waiting on a Miracle. He said that anyone who says it's easy to write a Disney I Want Song is lying. In the song, Mirabelle expresses that she feels excluded from the family and this is reflected in the rhythm. All of the other songs in the movie are in 4-4 time but Waiting on a Miracle is in 3-4 time. This makes it stand out. I also believe that this image of Mirabelle with her family is from the song. As you can see, her family is glowing with magic but Mirabelle just looks normal. Her pose has connotations that she longs to be like them and fit in. I believe this glowing staircase is also part of the song and I love the creative choice made here. Additionally, this shot of the Magrigal house that I initially thought was a spoiler I think is also part of the number. Recently, Disney Japan released a clip from Waiting on a Miracle on their social media and it sounds really good. I can't play it for you because of copyright but I will put the link in the description and tell you all about it. The song begins when the family takes a group photo during Antonio's gift receiving party without her. She sings that she isn't sad because she is still a Magra girl but her face tells a different story. Her sadness is particularly demonstrated in this shot of her returning to the nursery by herself now that Antonio has his magical room. Basically, in the song she sings about wanting to have magic like everyone else and that she is ready to know her powers. Additionally, in the Japanese clip we get to see baby Mirabelle ready to receive her gift as a five-year-old. It is going to be crushing to see her face when her door disappears. The Twitter account also posted a comment about the group number We Don't Talk About Bruno from Mike Elizondo who is the film's music arranger. He said that We Don't Talk About Bruno is a song about family gossip. Each verse is sung by one character at a totally different pace than the others and it grows until everyone is singing together. The choreography is sensational. I think it will be a highlight in the film. Judging from the soundtrack, it seems that this song will start with Peppa and then Felix, Dolores, Camilo, Isabella and Mirabelle will get a turn. I also believe that this shot of Peppa, Felix and Mirabelle is from the beginning of the song. Felix, I feel, has a particular dislike of Bruno and really doesn't want to discuss him. In a more recent promo video, a tiny bit of We Don't Talk About Bruno was played. Peppa and Felix sing the song dressed in their wedding attire and the song is super catchy using the Bruno No 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 lyrics as I previously reported. It is raining and some people are flying away due to the wind. Secondly, we now know that Dos Otagitas is the song that Disney will be submitting for awards including the Oscar for Best Original Song. This song is sung by Sebastian Yatra and is entirely in Spanish. It is sung when a really personal part of the Magrigal family history is revealed. It is a folk song about two caterpillars who are in love and are scared of letting each other go, but have to let each other go to become their next selves, which are butterflies. Finally, Disney revealed the first part of the opening number, The Family Magrigal. Because of copyright, I can't play the video for you, but I'm going to break it down now and I'll put the link in the description. Okay, so this song opens up with the family leaving the Magrigal house to go do their jobs in the village. Mirabelle sings and dances around as the pavers of the house jump behind her. She then waves goodbye to the house and we see a full shot of Casita with parts of it moving around with magic. We then cut back to Mirabelle as she swishes her skirt around, something that I feel is going to happen a lot in the movie. Also, fun fact, Mirabelle's skirt has symbols on it representing her family members that she embroidered herself. I love the detail here, it looks so good. Then we see three children who are Magrigal family super fans screaming with excitement. They go up to Mirabelle and ask her a bunch of questions while she tells them to relax. The boy in particular is super hyper because he has been drinking way too much coffee. Mirabelle then makes a funny joke about the coffee only being for grown ups. Mirabelle then sings in front of a gorgeous wall painting of her family in the town. In this verse she talks about her tia Peppa, her tio Bruno and her mother Julieta. As she sings about Peppa's mood affecting the weather we see her spinning around a field of crops like she is in The Sound of Music. She then trips over causing a storm and a tiny rain cloud appears over her head. This freaks out the donkey in the background who runs away. Judging from this scene I think her main job in town will be watering the crops. I think her gift is going to cause her family a lot of inconvenience as no one wants a rainstorm inside. We then cut back to Mirabelle who sings while holding an umbrella and this moment is super cute. 
Mirabel then discusses her uncle Bruno, and as soon as his name is mentioned, the villagers sing We Don't Talk About Bruno, giving us a hint of what the We Don't Talk About Bruno song will sound like. They all look kind of possessed to be honest, and Mirabel looks a little freaked out. Mirabel doesn't seem to know a lot about Bruno, and says that one day he saw the future and then he disappeared. Notably, in the picture his eyes are glowing green. Bruno's display of magic is scarier than the other Magra girls, so that's probably why the people in town don't like him. However, I do believe that he is a big softie at heart. His door is shown turning brown and character door posters reveal that the family has since boarded up the door. By the way, if you haven't seen the character door posters yet, I highly recommend checking them out because they are beautiful. Mirabelle's door is kind of sad though as it doesn't glow like the others and she has had to write her name on it. Mirabelle then discusses the final triplet, Julieta. We see her in the town centre with a queue of sick people waiting to be healed. Notably, there is a man in line with cactus pieces stuck all over his body. Beside Julieta is a table with magical food and she has Colombian healing herbs in her pockets. Julieta must be a busy woman because she would have to cook day and night to create enough healing foods for the town. She first heals a man with a black eye and then a person with a dodgy wrist who seems really happy. She then kisses Mirabelle and she is super embarrassed by this public display of affection. The mother and daughter then swing each other around and then Mirabelle runs through the town singing the song's chorus. There is another clip from the song floating around the internet where Mirabel sings about Isabella, Luisa, Dolores, Camillo and Antonio. However, I'm not sure if this is a cut version of the song or not. First, Mirabel sings in the town about her sisters Isabella and Luisa. She says that one is strong, one is graceful and they are both perfect in every way. She then sings about her cousin Dolores in front of a painting. We see Dolores listening from afar and Mirabel says that she can hear a pin drop. Mirabel then says that Camillo shapeshifts and we see him transform quickly from a middle-aged man to an old woman. There is another clip floating around the internet where Camillo pretends to be Mariano and it's really funny. Mirabel then says that Antonio gets his gift today and throws her accordion. Anyway, that is all for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day!